Welcome to XML Notepad. XML Notepad provides a very easy to use interface for editing XML documents. What is XML? XML is a industry standard for exchanging data between companies. And it has this funky format with angle brackets everywhere, comments, and so on and so forth. The format is hard to edit and keep it right. So you might be looking for a tool that can make it easy to do that. And XML Notepad is an excellent choice. It's easy to install. There are three different ways to install it. There's a click once installer, standalone installer if you don't have access to the internet, and a WinGet installer. I prefer the click once installer which shows up in the web browser here. Just click that. You'll see a little pop-up. If you get another security dialog before this, just click yes, but double check the publisher says Chris love it. If it says something else, then don't install it. Go ahead, download it. And there we have it, up and running. All right, let's grab that file that we looked at a second ago and bring it over. Now we can see that XML Notepad has passed it into a much more understandable format. We can see that there is a tree structure on the left, which is how XML is organized. It's a hierarchical data structure, and it has shown you XML attributes in red and elements in blue, comments in green, and you can edit any one of these values. You can just come in here and start typing. You can also insert new elements before this one, after that one, or as a child. Let's go after, call it foo, give it a value. See how easy it is to edit and add content here. You can drag drop things up and down the tree anywhere you wanna go. You can copy and paste stuff from one place to another and so forth. All of this, of course, is fully infinite undo, redo support here, which makes it easy. Let's undo all the way back to the original document. XML Notepad also supports multiple windowing, so you can have multiple documents open. Let's say I'm starting a brand new XML document here. I can add a new element as a child, call it foo. And now maybe I wanna copy something from here, copy, paste. Or maybe I wanna move this element from here to here. So it's gone from here, I've added it to here. So this uh, drag, drop, copy, paste support is really nice. And you can also copy stuff onto the clipboard. If you take a look at the clipboard using Notepad, you'll see that it's exchanging on the clipboard XML data. So if you have XML data from some other tool, you can just copy it. Let's delete that. Copy this and paste. All right, so you can see now how XML can be exchanged easily back and forth between various apps and XML Notepad. You can also see there's an error list down here that shows that there's something wrong with this document. And that's because this document is being validated against a schema. And the schema is also located in the same folder, basket.xsd. This is another industry standard for describing the valid shape of an XML document and the valid values for some of the elements in that document. It's saying that the basket has an invalid child element fruit, and that's probably because I added another fruit element here. If I delete that, that error goes away, but I got another error now. So list of possible elements, basket contains text, and that's because of this element at the bottom. And now all the errors have gone away, and I know this document is now valid according to that schema. That could be important if you want this document to be accepted by a computer system that requires that schema validation to pass. XML Notepad can also edit big documents. This is a 250K document that contains the entire Shakespeare play of Hamlet. And you can go down and see each act, each speech, the uh, speaker, what was said, and so on and so forth. I can use the find dialog with control F to find things in this document. I know there's a ghost somewhere. I can use the F3 key to find the next instance. And it supports search replace so I can find ghost and replace it with something else. There you go. That was a quick edit to this very large XML document. XML Notepad also supports XSLT transformation. And you can see that this document has an XS XML style sheet called willy.xsl, which is also in this folder. And it has an XSL output tab. And if I click that tab, it will transform this XML using that style sheet which in this case produces an HTML rendering of that XML document. Now it's a nice rendering that you might want to print for this play. 
that rendering is also written to an output file, which is written here, which I can see in the web browser. XML Notepad can also open other file formats and convert them to XML. For example, this is a CSV file, and I can click Open. And notice the drop-down here says CSV and HTML, so it can convert these two formats to XML. And let's check the CSV. It has noticed that the first row looks like column heading, so yep, click that. And there's my data with my month, year, one, two, and three showing up as XML elements. I can then save that as airtravel.xml, which shows up here. And I can look at that in Notepad to see what it did. Yep, that's my XML. You can find lots of other help up here on the web in the help part of the website which will go into detail about what the UI is made up of, how the menus work, how the keyboard works. There's lots of fun keyboard shortcuts here that will make you more productive. How the find dialog works, in find including find replace. All of the options that you can play with here under the options menu, including changing the UI to a dark color theme. You can control how the files are formatted when you save them. You can control some long line formatting where it's getting updates from and uh, some settings that control how the XML diff works. XML diff, by the way, is a nifty thing that can compare changes to an XML document. So if you have, or somebody else has edited this document and you wanna see how it was edited, just use compare XML files, which will show a web page report showing how these two files are different. First of all, the second file has a XML declaration at the top and in yellow. And it also shows that this content was moved. So the country element was moved from down here under zip to here under street. It also explains how IntelliSense works. When you have an associated XML schema, you can understand how validation works, how to add custom schemas with the schema dialog, how the clipboard works, which I've explained, and where it's getting updates from and how the update system works. It also explains how this is using Google Analytics so that we can see how many people are using the app. Just a very minimal amount of information is gathered, certainly nothing about you or what you're doing, but uh, just how many times the app is used so that, and how many times each feature is used in the app so that we know what's important and what needs to be improved and so on. You can opt out from analytics by turning off the analytics option under the options dialog here by setting that to false. This is the kind of data that is collected here under Google Analytics and it's super useful because it's showing me that, um, you know, how many times the app is being used. I can see here that a lot of XSLT transformations are happening. The search dialog is being used a lot and so on. And, and that tells me that, hey, this is an important feature of the app. So if there's ways to improve that feature, that's going to help a lot of people. So please don't turn it off if you really don't have to. Um, and this information is only available to a very, very small number of people working on XML Notepad. Lastly, if you have any questions or run into any issues, you can find the code on GitHub. It's all open source. Anybody's welcome to make changes and submit a pull request. In fact, people have been doing that and it's been super helpful. And you find a bug, you can file an issue here under the GitHub issues list. And those issues will be looked at and resolved quickly, hopefully. You know, even if you have just an idea or a feature request, you can put that here as well. All right, that's XML Notepad. I hope you enjoy it.